Okay, in this video, we are going to change the uh, um, wall pack. So this is a typical wall pack that you see in at the back of shopping strip. Uh, this is at the back of a medical complex. But um, yeah, it's the same. So you have another wall pack there that we already changed. So this wall pack um, is pretty typical. So you have the HID light right here. Um, this is uh, what they call the metal halide bulb. So this is using the E39. Um, so we're gonna unscrew this. Let you see the, the, the base of the bulb. Like that. So it's, uh, it's bigger than the, uh, the household regular bulb base. That's the E26. This is E29 uh, known also as Mogul. M-O-G-U-L. Okay. So I'm gonna put this aside. And uh, you can see there, those are the uh, LED corn bulb that we're gonna change uh, into here. So what we need to do, uh, we have to bypass the uh, the ballast, which is uh, actually up here on this design. So this is actually pretty easy. Uh, what we're gonna do is um, everything, all the cable that is coming out of this hole uh, is basically three cables. So we have the uh, ground, which is green. And then we have the black, uh, hot, and then the uh, white one, uh, common. So we're just going to bypass uh, the, the ballast and the capacitor up here, uh, which is required for the metal halide uh, because we don't need that anymore. The LED that we have is uh, 85 to 265 volt, I think. So it's, it's very wide ranging. So it, it doesn't matter whether it's 110 or um, 240 or 230 bolt that you have coming out of here it'll still work so um, yeah so the first thing we're gonna do is open these up and instead of the um, uh, cable going up into these um, whatever equipment up here uh, we are just we're just going to connect these uh, cables that is going directly to the socket to these so these uh, there's two cable that is going from the socket this is one of them and then this is another one right here right now they're going in to whatever device is here capacitors and ballast we are going to disconnect these and then connect it directly to here that's all we're gonna do okay so I'm gonna pause the video and um, um, get some work done and uh, I'll, I'll also shoot some video as uh, as we work okay so we are removing the first cable from the socket make sure that uh, of course the electricity is off um, this electricity has been turned off but just for precautions wear gloves that is non-conductive this is uh, I think well welding gloves made by Tillman very comfortable and there's pure leather is non-conductive okay so those two cables right here we're not gonna use those and what we're gonna use are these two cables right here uh, which we're going to disconnect Alright, so those are the two cables that we're going to connect to those two right there. It doesn't matter which cable goes to where because this is AC voltage. There's no polarity. There's no plus and minus.
Okay, so all these cables that is hanging here does not matter because none of them are actually connected to any electricity. So we just bypass all these equipment that is contained in this box up here. Uh, they're basically ballast and capacitors, etc. So don't worry about that. So as you can see, um, the only thing we did is bypassing and connecting the cables from the socket directly to the power source. That's all we're doing is it is that simple. Okay, and uh, so just make sure all the cables are neatly tucked away and the connectors are tight. And we're ready to screw in the new um, LED corn bulb. Alright, and that's it. So before we close it up, usually we want to clean. You see all those uh, insects, droppings, whatever that is up there. Uh, we just take a, um, a brush, kind of just um, brush them away. Make sure you're wearing glasses to protect your eye when you're doing this. All right, so this is a very easy job and it's, it's totally worth it. The LED corn bulb only costs $18. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description. I bought them from Amazon. Uh, they have, I think, a, uh, a five-year warranty and uh, it's really good uh, light bulb that I've been using for uh, a year or so. Uh, they seem to work um, really well and it's reliable and um, this is a 60 watt bulb uh, we just replaced uh, i believe an h uh, an hid bulb that is probably about 300 watt so the saving is about um usually about a fourth or a fifth um when you're using led and it lasts about uh, five to ten times longer so you don't have to uh, keep changing light bulbs all right that's it so we're just going to um swing this down Uh, watch out the hinge. Watch out the hinge over here. Okay. And the screws is at the bottom right there. So these lights are hinged on the top. And that's why you got to watch out when you're... Uh, they're loose. So there's actually... This is not a close hinge. So they're loose. And you got to make sure that uh, you're holding them correctly. Otherwise... Uh, it can drop on you all right thank you for watching um, if you find this video useful please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it uh, to whoever you think uh, could benefit from this video and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do it yourself